What's up guys, it's Gaza. I um I said I was gonna do a video when I hit five million gear power and uh as of last night I'm sitting at five million one hundred and ninety seven thousand so um yeah I thought I'd make that video today and um I'm just gonna show you how I've reached that number. As you can see I've only got one twelve slot weapon, which is my primary, and um and then the the other one, the other high uh, high slotted uh, weapon is my heavy, which is the minigun, um, and that's got 11. You can see my shotgun's still still a noob gun, like it's only got eight slots, um, but uh, I'm still I can still reach five million, so it's all good. I found this uh, 12 slot weapon yesterday, last night. Some of you who've seen my older videos will know that I already had a 12 slot, which is this one right here. The perk that it's got is melee at enemy, and the effect is lightning. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good perk. I like to have uh, a melee perk because it's good to, um, if you've got a powerful weapon, then it's good to have something that's going to give your melee uh, a bit of a boost. You know, it's good to improve your melee. Um, that's why I love this shotgun because every time I melee a guy I get a guaranteed boomerang and it's really great but shoot an enemy and the effect is boomerang it's ridiculous I maxed it out straight away and I was using it and literally I couldn't stop saying that. I kept saying that over and over. Every time I, I killed a few enemies with this thing, I, w I was just thinking, damn. This, this is overpowered as hell. When I showed um, my last 12 slot primary weapon, my old one, uh, somebody asked in the comments where did you get it from, so uh, I just want to show you where I got this one from. The mini bosses in a mission, you know, the hitmen. Um, we killed him, and when we open, when I opened the chest, uh, this is what came out of it. So, like a lot of people, when they're farming, they just they go into that first mission in Alaska, uh, blood on the ice. They get out of there, you know, they call the chopper and open up the box without doing any of the the extra stuff, without doing any of the blue events or the hitmen. They don't do any of it. I suppose it's really fast. You know, you can get your your mission final rewards really quick. But you're missing out on so much. A hitman definitely can drop uh, 12 slot weapons and it's worth killing them. A 11 slot minigun, that came from uh, killing, uh, completing one of the blue events, the blue challenges. So th they're also worth doing. Like you shouldn't just finish the mission as quickly as possible and just get your re reward at the end because everything has a, a chance of dropping legendaries so if you go into a mission you might as well just do everything before you leave. What you want to do in order to get your high gear power there's a couple of things and let's say you've only got one 12 slot weapon or maybe you haven't got any 12, 12 slot weapons at all um, but you you want to get as much out of them as you can. Uh, I've learned a few things so if you if you've got a few see this shotgun see the uh, the slot in the top left hand corner it's not colored it doesn't have a blue a yellow or a red ring around it it's just an empty slot you know and you put uh, that's where you want to put your your prismatic cores you don't want those obviously when you're re-rolling it's random so you can't uh, you can't guarantee what whether you're going to get all colored or whether you're going to get much synergy you want to aim for as many colored sockets as possible 
uh, as much synergy so that's the lines the bars in between you can see those four red ones up in the corner that's the synergy that gives you gear power on top of the actual sockets themselves when you're re-rolling aim for as many colored sockets as you can and then um, as many uh, synergy lines uh, synergy um, connections as you can as you can get one thing about the critical prismatic cores you don't want to you don't want to necessarily put uh, prismatics into every slot you just you want to find that balance uh, you want to watch the damage and the, the gear power don't put uh, criticals don't put crit prismatics in every socket because it won't necessarily give you the highest damage per second and the highest gear power you want to put in the, just the right amount you want to find just the right uh, number of prismatic cores to give you the most that you can get out of the weapon the next thing um, that you want to look at to uh, improve your gear power is uh, you definitely want to take a look at um, these right here these blue bars right so obviously having a higher stat a higher number is going to uh, improve the weapon but it's not just the number it's not just the stat that matters it's actually the blue bar itself if I go to another weapon and show you um, we'll equip this weapon right so look at my gear power it's three five three one three five three one so now we'll go back here and we'll mess with them um, if we get the okay I'm gonna try to get to I tr I'll try and get the clip size up to 23 just so I can show you what I mean there's 23 now take a look at the blue bar and you can see how full it is right like it's not totally full to the to the top um, but the number is 23 so my gear power is three million five four six so three five four six watch this right okay it's 23 still it's 23 again um, but my gear power has gone down it's now three five four five so you could like even though even though the stat itself hasn't changed I've still got 23 in the clip like I had before just because the blue bar is um, there's less blue in that bar just because of that that's affecting my gear power you just want to look at that blue bar itself you want to just fill that as much as you can um, so three five four five Oh, it's three five four seven so you can see just from doing that um, alone just from messing with the blue bars um, and maxing them out as much as you can try to fill them up um, that's gonna that's gonna add to the gear power as well so that's how you can maximize your gear power um, and get as much from what you have you know use what you have to its full potential and hopefully it'll be enough to um, eventually get you up to five million gear power which I d you know it just seems like a good uh, a good bar to aim for in my opinion um, and then who knows maybe once I get three 12 slot weapons will that be enough to get me to 10 million gear power that's the big question right like 10 million is the next milestone that's it guys um, thanks for watching I hope you enjoy the video um, enjoy playing Alienation and I'll catch you in the next one.